In today's video, we are going to be exploring Gutena Newsletter. We'll start by installing the plugin, so let's hover over Plugins on the left-hand side. We'll click Add New. And in the search bar, I'll type in Gutena Newsletter. Now we'll click on Install and then Activate once it's done. And that's basically how we install the plugin. Now we need to go ahead and configure its options. So let's go to Posts on the left, just hover, then click on All Posts. And now we'll use a random post to test our block, so let's use this one. And I'll scroll all the way down, and I'll add a new block by clicking on this plus icon, and we'll choose Newsletter. Alright, so here we have our default newsletter block, and of course it's fully customizable. And here we have the full structure of the block, and I'll just expand all of these parent blocks to reveal their child blocks. Now the newsletter block has one child block, which lets inner blocks use the full content width. We can also see some nested columns and one of these has an image and it's using a basic image block so if you want to, you can always replace this with an image from your gallery. We also have a heading as well as a few uh, paragraph blocks which can always be customized using the options over on the right hand side. So these are Gutenna styling options for text. They let you customize typography, color, spacing and so on. Now back on the left we have the newsletter form block and this one is a parent of two blocks, an input field and a submit button. Now we can change the arrangement of the input form and the submit button by using these options. We have up and down and side by side. We can also adjust the gap between them. And if you choose side by side, you'll see an option to stack on mobile. So let's move to the platform section. And here we have a drop down menu where we can select a platform. Right now we only have MailChimp. And here you'll need to enter a MailChimp API key and audience ID. Now to get the MailChimp API key, I'll open a new tab and I'll go to MailChimp. And now I'll just go ahead and jump right into my dashboard. Now in the bottom left hand corner, I'll just click on my avatar. Now in this menu, I'll select profile. And on this page, I'll go to extras, then API keys. I'll also create a new API key for what we're doing. It's going to be the second one on this list. So I'll just highlight and copy everything in this field. And we'll go back to our WordPress options in the WordPress editor. And we'll just paste the key right here in this field. Okay, so now we need to add the ID for the audience we want to use. So we need to go back to MailChimp. I'll just go back to this tab and this time I'll click on audience. Now ignore this drop down menu. What we need is actually on the page itself. So we'll just move to manage audience over on the right, the top right, and we'll click on settings. Now let's scroll all the way down and there's our ID in this field. We just need to copy it. So I'll just highlight this and copy. Now we'll go back to WordPress and paste it in the provided field. Now we have a section to make changes to the message that we see after submitting the form. You can make changes to these settings, but unfortunately there is no preview in the WordPress editor. We also have the option to adjust settings such as padding. This slider makes it easy to adjust the padding all around. And we also have margin options. If you want, you can also add a border. You just need to select it from this list, then adjust the width. And if you have a border, you can round it by adjusting its radius. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at input field options. So if we move to the settings on the right, we can see options to align the text left, center or right. So you can choose any position you want. And at the bottom, we have an option to change the input placeholder. And right below, we can also change the maximum width. So we can adjust the value by moving the slider. And then we have options to change both text and background color. We have options for typography and dimensions. So here you can adjust padding values for all sides of the input field. And finally, there's a border option which you can configure. Now, if we move to the submit button field, we'll see another set of options. So for example, we can change the button position, left, center, right, or fluid. And by default, the button type is set to only text, but we can always change it to only icon or text and icon. We can click on this pencil to change the icon. And here we have a list of 276 different options. Now, if you want to change the color of your icon, you can access this color picker to make that change. We can also use this drop down to select an icon position. It could either be left or right. We have a gap slider as well as a color picker for the button text and background. And once again, we have this set of typography, dimensions and border options. Now, it's also worth noting that you can use the newsletter form block on its own without having the entire newsletter block. So here's a quick example where I'll duplicate this newsletter form block. Just click on duplicate and I'll just drag it outside of this block. Oops, let's try again. OK, so this is a more minimal approach versus using this entire newsletter block. 
So once you are happy with your settings, you can just go ahead and click on the update button, then click view post in the bottom left hand corner. So I'll scroll all the way down on this post, then I'll enter a random email address in this field. I'll click on subscribe. It's processing and here we have our success message. All right, so finally I'll show you that this subscription actually shows up in MailChimp. So we'll just go back to MailChimp. Fortunately, we still have this tab at the top. Then we'll go to the audience tab and we'll see that our audience has three contacts. We'll click on the three and we'll see that this email here matches what we just entered. So basically it's the last entry. There's no name attached and its source is API. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and good luck.